it's time to get your summer photos off your Ooh. off your phone and onto your wall. So please welcome Canadian Living's Brett Walther, who looks very fresh today. <laughs> I, I walked into this corner and I thought I love everything. So what did you do here? Well, I kind of did. I, I went that one step beyond posting my summer vacation photos on Instagram and Facebook and getting a couple of likes, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and just actually doing what we did in the old days and got them processed. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Because they stay on our phone, don't they? They do. They, they have a habit of just collecting dust on the phone after we do that mm -hmm. initial share on social mm -hmm. media. And it's such a shame because these are so much more meaningful than like a generic mass-produced piece of art. Mm -hmm. These are like happy memories, people having fun, places that mean something to us. And we just talked to Jane about changing things up exactly so, and you know and we tend to have the same photos uh, you know you know in those frames so are, uh, how do you how do you make it happen that I see some of these pictures are very big mm -hmm. so how do you process process that well the, the, the good the good thing is that actually getting prints uh, processed yeah. is easier than it's ever been I'm um, you actually don't even have to get off your bum anymore you can just like uh, directly upload your pictures from your camera phone or from your your proper uh, point-and-shoot camera yeah onto a processor's website, and oftentimes they can have those prints ready for you in just an hour. Wow, mm -hmm. that's great. That's good to know. So there's four easy ways. That's right. Kind of, you're going to show us kind of gallery type Yeah, four different, different ways to yeah. create your own gallery yeah. style art installation. Okay. And the first one here is what I'm calling the graphic grid. So if you've got like a series of identical frames, then a graphic grid like this is an absolute no-brainer. Uh, it's really clean and contemporary, and I feel like it works really well with uh, the graphic nature of black and white mm -hmm. photos. Because mm -hmm. if, uh, like, there's nothing like black and white to kind of elevate your amateur photography into high art. It instantly makes it look that much more glamorous. And when you're putting these up, what, mm -hmm. what's your suggestion about the separation of the of the photos? I mean, of the frames, between, you know, so that it's, it's uh, symmetrical. Well, it's it's all about one tool actually, okay. and uh, this is every prop stylist worth his salt has this in his kit. Okay. Um, and and to get something this, as precise as this grid, you really need this hang and level. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Canadian invention, and uh, it's the only reason why my walls at home don't look like Swiss cheese. Um, <laughs> so you just hang the uh, frame by the picture wire on this little hook here and you position it on the wall and it's even got like little levels so you can make sure that it's level. Once you've got it where you want it, you press this button and it leaves a little divot in the wall exactly oh. where you want to drive your picture hanging now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then as far as, the, the, you know, the perception of what we're looking at yeah. in your mind, mm -hmm. how, many, how many inches between all the pictures, you know, when you're putting them together and rows? I would, uh, you just want to make sure that you've got some consistency okay. between it. So whether that's like an inch and a half separating every picture, just, just maintain that consistency and, and it'll look like a proper grouping as opposed to just a mess that okay. explodes. Yeah, right. exactly. I love that.